All right, guys, there's this abandoned basement that I haven't been out in for about a decade. But I seem to remember there being an old 1930s or so window down here. Oh, wow, this is still pretty clean. Is this still from when I cleaned it up or what? Yeah. I don't know. Really. The stuff I put down here is pretty much all rotted. Mm -hmm. but, oh, there we go. Oh, that's it. I haven't seen it in a while, so. That think it'd work. You know, I, I'm actually kind of caught off guard. I'm actually kind of caught off guard that this is a lot better and drier than I remembered it. And she has lights now. Was that added recently? What's that? Were that lights added recently? Oh, no. They didn't have lights last time. Yeah, there was a light. Oh, really? They just weren't any bulbs in them. Mm. Those are on the ground. Those are parts to uh, oh, the gas tanks? engine intake. Oh. That's a nice spoiler. Okay, maybe not too nice. Yeah, stay pretty clean. Mm hmm. Like, I remember last time, like, what, 2008 or so, this was, like, it had, like, an inch of mold grown on the sides. Oh, yeah. It was about 2009. Okay. They, uh, they, they put this here, too. This was a bug. Oh, I see. Okay. Bug fall or Yeah, this window's a bit more broken up than I thought, but... a bit. What'd you find? Mold on that cloth. Oh god. Or whatever it is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's disgusting. Yeah. I need to pitch all of that. I thought it would yeah. actually be okay, but mm -hmm. no. No, like look at all the mold on that. Yeah, no. Ugh. And these were cardboard boxes that I got from yeah. Ascendant. But I'll just pitch them all. You might, you think that boiler is probably from the, or when is this building made? 40s, 30s? <coughs> I'm not sure. It's pretty old. You might, do you know where the door is? Like, it'd be nice to come back and get this, weld it, and put it on a new boiler and have the door. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought the door was around. Anyway. You better find the boiler is all kind of messed up. That's a shame. I'm not sure how the door fell off because the hinge is still there. The well, they probably removed it. Yeah. You know. So this is a high-speed shaft that runs this blower, but then it also has a gear reduction that runs the auger. I might be worth taking some time and restoring that. Just cut off all this, you know? Mm -hmm. If you guys have any idea what this is, please let us know. Oh, it might be for the uh, vacuum former machine that used to be here. It's got a rubber wheel. Yeah. So it had rubber wheels on it. Because this used to be like a mechanic shop, and so those are all gas tanks over there. But a lot of the stuff is just, um, well, it, it's not going in the trash, but it's not being used, and it's up for the taking, so if I can use any of this stuff, I can take it and find use for it. But yeah, that's a big gear reduction there, and runs that auger. This one still has the uh, motor on it. I think it's a... Uh, Ball door. 
Yeah, it's a bowl door. Can't read the brass. It's a big motor. That would be a good thing to go grab. Oh, and lastly, is this what they would do to seal up ruptured fire tubes? Some of these have so much rust in them that their the actual inner core is falling out. Oh, that's not good. Holy shit. Boiler return trap, Webster. I wonder where it hooked to it. From the very top. How odd. On the boiler tubes with asbestos. <laughs> I can come back and get this stuff later, like that weird thing. But I just came for this because I think it might work. It might look good on my new workshop. Oh, and before I forget, check out this amazing door. Now, how cool would that be to have a boiler room door on my workshop? It's amazing. It's rusted at the bottom, but the thing with the metal doors, you can weld it, so it's not that bad. It's pretty cool. Actually, I just like this handle. It's on both sides, too. That's a big door lock, too. Like so. Yes. Well, would you look at this, what I found. It's a bunch of old metal roofing. These are good, uh, three feet by 20 feet, holy shit. So far I've put about, I'd say $900 into my workshop. That's just for the timber and all the parts. And I expect another like uh, $1,200 or $1,300 for the siding and roofing. But if I can get some like recycled roofing, that could greatly reduce the price. So good, oh, so tempting. <laughs>